Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. This is Sage and welcome to the Executive Corner Expert Talks by Calkine TV. Today's special guest is Ms. Michelle Aguila, the CTO and co-founder of Vapor Solutions. And today's expert will share insights on helming the ship for a cloud platform that automates condition assessment directly from the pipeline CCTV footage. And Vapor has received over 1.2 million Australian dollars in funding from the Australian Government, New South Wales Government and some of Australia's most ambitious investors. And as you know, we bring you the industry leaders, successful business owners, all under the one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock market. So today we're very lucky to share some space with Ms. Michelle Aguila, the CTO and co-founder of Vapor. Welcome to the show, Michelle. Thanks for having me on today. It's a pleasure to e-meet you. It's great to see women in the front of the engineering sector as well. So congratulations. And it definitely is your time, Michelle. You've had a keen interest in robotics and emerging tech for years and then you've developed the Vapor platform processes which processes sorry over 200,000 meters of wastewater infrastructure for dozens of clients across Australia, New Zealand and the UK. What inspired you to form Vapor along with your high school friend and fellow UTS engineer Amanda? Yes, yeah, so it actually came from a personal experience of Amanda's. So as a civil engineering intern, she used to have to watch videos of the inside of sewer pipes eight hours a day looking for faults. So she came to me and uh, with my technical background and said, is there anything we can do to automate this because it shouldn't be being done by people? So that's kind of how we started the idea of Vapor and we, we got it off the ground in 2018 by working with some councils to start to automate their stormwater pipe reviews. Fantastic. And to extend the life of infrastructure, reliance on smart city technology capabilities is critical. So how should government support businesses who are addressing this issue? Yeah, so I think it starts with investing in technology and in people. Uh, so basically, there are lots of small companies that are working on different problems in the water sector. And the government is uh, government bodies are quite large and, and slow to move on, you know, risky things that they might not be fully confident in yet. Uh, but what they should do is use research groups to innovate and to find and test solutions that they think could be beneficial for the whole industry, but also to, to look at the small companies. So governments and utilities uh, can't move quickly and they don't have the resources to build technology as utility companies. So they should be looking to the technology companies to be providing these sorts of solutions in smart cities. Exactly, and especially as new technology is developing at such a rapid pace these days. So how do gravity pipes, pumps and filtration systems play an important role in the quality of our life overall? Yes, yeah, so they're very important. Uh, so they basically protect the environment from our, our waste, our kitchen waste, our, our bathroom waste. Uh, they also protect roads and infrastructure from flooding events by basically uh, moving the water away from those those areas. They keep our waterways safe. So uh, these sorts of infrastructure are really are crucial in terms of protecting the, the city and urban centres from water issues. Yes, water safety is a major issue and without companies like yours doing something about it, it the, the whole situation could be a lot worse. So thank you for your efforts. And with sensors and actuators becoming more cost effective, an array of technologies is becoming available for the pipe industry. Which has been your recent favourite, if you have one? Yeah, so I would say uh, at the moment in Australia in particular, the pairing of the 5G rollout with IoT sensors is something that is really enabling solutions that we've never seen before on the market. So uh, being able to do real-time sensing and, and have a, a view visibility of a whole network of, of different issues going on, so like flows and pressures in pipes and, and chokes in pumps and things like that, they used to all have to be manually connected, physically connected uh, to a central system where they would have to be monitored by individual teams. Whereas now with the cloud-enabled 5G and IoT, we can now do that remotely and, and it's a lot quicker to set things up and it's a lot easier to have good visibility in real time. 
That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. And you sure seem to be passionate about emerging tech. So thank you for sharing your passion about this as well. So please tell us, how are you using artificial intelligence to identify faults in pipes, please? Yeah, so we use deep learning, which is a, a, a type of artificial intelligence to find and identify specific issues in pipes. So pipes that are buried under the ground can, um, can be blocked or can have structural issues like cracks or breaks. They can have tree roots coming into them. There's a whole array, range of issues that basically uh, we need to identify when they're inspected. So what happens is a camera goes into a pipe and drives through to capture a video of the inside of the pipe so that it can be condition assessed. And we use AI on that footage to basically automate the detection of those different issues that we typically see. And that way we can keep our uh, sewerage and, and stormwater flowing, uh, reduce blockages and environmental issues that can be associated with when these pipes fail. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing the amazing work that you're doing. And thank you so much for joining us today as well, Michelle. Your insights have been valuable and I'm sure they've been enjoyed by our viewers. Um, that's actually the end of the discussion. Before you go, was there anything you believe our viewers should know before we wind up? Uh, just that there's a lot of exciting technology on the market at the moment and particular, particularly in AI, as was discussed in the previous discussion as well, there's a lot of new opportunities coming up and uh, the industry is taking up these sorts of solutions at the moment. So uh, I guess my advice to viewers would be keep your eyes open and, and your minds open to what can be possible with AI. Best of luck with your near-term goals and running Vapor Solutions, Michelle. Thanks very much for having me. And if you've just joined us, viewers, we had a very interesting discussion with Ms. Michelle Aguila, the CTO and co-founder of Vapor Solutions. Full recorded interview will be available at Calkine Media's YouTube channel. And please stay watching Calkine for more market updates and live expert talks. And as we say, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.